Okay, we're here at the Antique Engine Show. Got Jake over there. Where the hell did he go? Right there. See him? See him? We got Jake. Uh, he's going to run this engine. 1929 Fairbanks Morse. And he's going to kind of go through a startup procedure. Right. Well, let's start off. We've got to have air. See, we have about 200 pounds of pressure. More than enough to start right now. First thing to do, I'll come back here again. you got to get the flywheel in position to do that. you got to open the compressor at least on the back side of the head. center for number one. Ten degrees off just puts fast top dead center to push air into number one cylinder. Now that we got that, close this up. Go back up, close the compression release again. You got run position, you got stop, shut it down. Let's leave it on the run position. Since we had it running today, it's already warm, so we should be good at that. Flip that belt, what you want? Flip it open, flip it open, and as soon as it starts, close it back. throttle it back up to get some smoke oh. and some o-rings there's some smoke rings anyway
flywheel loaded at six tons. It is uh, 2,541 cubic inches per cylinder. Just over 5,000 cubic inches. an hour. Just like this without no load on it, it takes about three gallons an hour. If you had the generator at 50 kilowatts of full load for an hour, it takes 43 gallons. Wow. Wow. So I assume the white smoke coming out of one is going to get a leak. That and I got the one injector turned up a little bit right now. Playing with it a little bit to get it to run better, stronger. I'm sure it's quiet though. Yeah, it's most part is quiet. Thank you. 